you're an investor looking for ways to build wealth by investing in real estate, be sure to check out this video on value add investing. What's up, real estate investors? I'm Aaron Nelson. I'm the founder of White Coat RE. We're a real estate company up here in the Pacific Northwest that helps homeowners and investors build their financial futures through real estate. And look, I know that there's a lot of jargon and buzzwords that get thrown around when it comes to investing in real estate. And one of the most common terms is this concept of value-add investing or buying a value-add property. And that actually gets me excited because these are the types of assets that I personally like to buy. As an investor, there are tons of different investment strategies that you can pursue but value-add investing is one of my favorites and it works whether you're looking to buy and hold a property for a long term as a rental or if you're looking to buy and flip a property by selling it for a nice profit in short value-add investing involves buying a property that offers the investor the opportunity to improve the asset through things like renovating rebranding or creating operational efficiencies because most people will pay more to rent or to buy a nicer property in comparison with one that is outdated or needs a lot of work, real estate investors can create massive equity and also increase their cash flow with these improvements. Now, most often the property will require some level of renovation. And so when I talk to investors, I like to classify these renovations into three different levels to better understand their comfort level. Tier one is a cosmetic update and usually requires things like interior or exterior paint, new carpet or flooring, updating doors and trim, and maybe even a light kitchen remodel where you're reusing a lot of what's already there by doing things like painting cabinets and refinishing countertops. Could even involve some windows or roofs because usually those are a single contractor that you hire and it's relatively simple to manage. Tier two is a step up and it usually involves permitting because you're doing something like redesigning the floor plan, maybe moving plumbing or electrical to do a full scale kitchen remodel. These projects really require the investor to think about how the property should be redesigned so it's a good fit for the prospective tenant or buyer. Tier three is something that usually requires a lot of experience with contractor management and working with an architect because it often involves things like finishing out a basement, converting a garage into a separate living space or an ADU, popping the roof off and adding a dormer to create additional square footage or things like that. Obviously, the more work a property needs, the larger the discount the investor should be able to receive on the purchase and hopefully the greater the reward for completing the work will be. As they say, your return on investment is commensurate with the size of the problem that you're solving. With that said, even if you're starting out and you decide to begin with a tier one renovation and leave the larger renovations to others, you're still setting yourself up in good shape to build a great amount of equity and improve your property's cash flow much more and much quicker than if you were to buy something that's turnkey. Just be sure you have the right team in place and the right business plan in place to ensure that your value-add investment strategy is effectively executed. This means working with an experienced real estate agent who can help you identify the right opportunity and a good contractor who can effectively execute your project. If you need assistance buying or selling or finding that great value-add investment property in the Western Washington area, please reach out to us at team at whitecoatre.com or you can visit us at www.whitecoterie.com. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.